<laughs> Welcome to the Tom Green Show. This is our college football preview for this week. And we brought in a big Michigan fan here. Even though State beat Michigan last week, who cares? No matter. We brought in Mr. Mike Razdorf, a.k.a. Raz. <laughs> How are we doing today, Raz? Hey, we're great. We're great. That's good. You like the you like Still how, over from that loss last week. Yeah. You like how I say that though, Raz. Raz, I do. I do. <laughs> Instead of just Raz, Raz, <laughs> <laughs> as we call him at work and basically everybody, just what does. everybody does. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, week eleven in college football. It's gonna be a good. And one. the BCS talk is getting hot. It is, and that's a good thing. You know, <clears throat> every season I always look forward to the BCS talk. And even with the yep. playoff coming up, right. I look forward to these big games. I'm excited and this, for the playoff. Though. And this <clears throat> this week fares no differently. As this, You've got a battle of three, no, uh, at least, uh, well, three well, undefeated Alabama teams. Well, yeah. That we Definitely. will, of course, discuss about. And then, of course, the Michigan game. But let's go right in. Let's dive right in these three Three big matchups for this week. Two of them happen to fall on Thursday night, which is tonight. If you tonight we feel as we're filming this, so you got Stanford, Oregon, and and uh, uh, Oklahoma, and Baylor, which are four good teams. Even Baylor without RG three is looking yeah. to be. Oh man, is it, Bryce? Maybe, is that a, that the correct? Yeah. Bryce, man, he's looking good this year. And maybe he is dressed up as RG three. Yeah. You never know yeah. because RG three really did well at Baylor and yeah. won the Heisman as he yeah. should have. Yes. Um, yes. Well deserved. Yes. But exactly. So, with that being said, let's go to the first big matchup of this week: Oregon and Stanford. Oregon and Stanford. Oregon clearly, you know. One of the best offenses, if not the best. They put up mad points on the board. I mean, they just, yes. they're just so athletic, and they always raise the bar. I always look forward to watching Oregon every year to see what they got to offer. Uh, Stanford, I believe they're now becoming a powerhouse. You know, I'm shocked that they're a one-loss team and are number five. But, I mean, I think it's deserved. They're a very good team, and I th but I think Oregon is going to beat them 35 to 24. 35 to 24, you know. I, but I think it's going to it's going to separate a lot later. I mean, mm -hmm. I really think it's going to be tight a lot of the game. Like I said, if you watched the first show with Adam Dustin, I picked Oregon to go to the championship game against Alabama. And even without Chip Kelly as their head coach going into the NFL. Of course, you watch my NFL shows, mm -hmm. this guy was on it. As his first, he makes his first appearance. My debut. <laughs> Always got to start somewhere. But, um, what is it, Mark uh, Helfrich is his name? Is their head oh, yeah, coach yeah. right now? He was and, the assistant last year. I yeah, mean. he was their offensive coordinator as oh, yeah, well. Offensive coordinator. No wonder why the Oregon offense has not, has basically not changed since, since. since Chip Kelly left. And this team is basically the same as if Chip Kelly was coaching, right. which is good yeah. because. I kind of like Oregon, believe it or not. Always. Stanford. What you were saying? Oh, always flash the jerseys. I love the exactly. jerseys. Exactly. <laughs> Every different kind of Nike jersey in the book. They could probably have a jean jersey yeah. coming out. Oh, That'd yeah. be really epic. Canadian mother tux. <laughs> That'd be awesome. But anyway, Stanford. Without Jim Harbaugh, Stanford has gone a notch down. A notch not down too down. much down. Yeah but a notch down ever since Jim Harbaugh left. They're still a good team, and this is kind of scary to think, but if Andrew Luck had not left, he would be a fifth-year senior this yeah. year. I couldn't believe he left. I thought he should have stayed, but hey, but he's if, a beast in that. Just think, know. if Andrew Luck would have stayed, Stanford, I think, would have been, lo and behold, national championship They would have knocked off Alabama favorites. for sure. Yes. Last year they would have done it with Taylor, the running back. Mm -hmm. I think his name was Taylor. But yeah, he was he was he got drafted. He's a good running back. And it, it it's almost kind of sad that I live out east <laughs> because the Pac-12 would actually be some good football oh, to watch absolutely. out west. But unfortunately, living out east, you I gotta I gotta still live in a respectable time because I don't I don't want to be, 
you know, waking up at 2 p.m. like maybe you <laughs> yeah. every once in a while. I wake up at 9 a.m. Yeah. And that's the latest I will wake up. But anyway, I think Oregon wins this game 42-31. I think the high-power offenses yep. will make this game high-scoring. And I think Oregon's defense, I think, it is good. I do, too. I, I agree. I don't think it's just all offense. I believe mm -hmm. they have a good defense. Too. And, of course, i got to bring up the defensive standpoint. i got to see Michigan State play a Pac-12 or an SEC yeah. team for me to think that they're the best defense in the nation. Yep. Sorry, State fans, but I still am not on the best defense in the nation bandwagon, no, so stop it. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible. But, State, man. But anyway, that's that. we're going to talk more about that on our second segment here. But uh, our second big game this week that's also happening tonight, um, Oklahoma against Baylor. It's looking to be a good game. Baylor, they're still undefeated. Yes. And Oklahoma's got, what, one loss? Sickum is looking sick. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, Bryce for Baylor, I mean, he's really... I, I would say he's catching up, too, in the Heisman race. I mean, he's playing phenomenal. They're top two or three in offense. I think that for a couple weeks, a couple weeks ago, they were beating Oregon in offense, total offense, in a couple categories. So, I mean, they're a very high-powered offense as well. Oklahoma, they're not as good as I thought they would be this year. You know, I think yes. they would be a little bit stronger. Oklahoma always brings out a good football team, but I think think that Oklahoma is going to be the upset, and they're going to win 28-17. You know, just like uh, last year, there were, believe it or not, after week nine, was it? We After nine weeks, we had eight undefeateds. Last year, there were more yeah, undefeateds. There was. And, be, and that's how that's how the line goes in that college football. That shaped up real quick last year, though. They mm -hmm. lost. They fell off real quick, though. Yes. And believe it or not, I'm going to have to agree with Raz here and say that Oklahoma wins, oh, 52-49. Wow. Because Baylor, Baylor's got a really high-powered offense. And Oklahoma, that's, that's the way Baylor will get beaten, is by outscoring them. Kind of like Rich Rod at yeah. Michigan. Nope. You, you tried to outscore everybody, yeah. and that don't work. No, you got to play some defense. But in this game, that's the only way it's going to be done is you got to outscore Baylor. Baylor really that's hasn't it. had a test this year, and Oklahoma will be the first. Mm -hmm. It'll be a good game. But Baylor will have to prove me wrong even though they are 8-0 or 9-0? They're 9-0. 9-0. I don't know where to tell them I've been by a week. Okay, so they're 9-0, but yeah. They will have to prove me wrong and, and Raz wrong. But anyway, that's our two college, that's our first two big games of the week. Segment two will feature LSU Alabama and Michigan Nebraska. Tune in.